What's up guys? Every badminton serve is different, even at the highest level. Here I'll be breaking down and analysing different professional badminton doubles players serve. A lot of the time when you watch badminton, you don't realise the small things that the professional players do in order to perform a very good serve. When you serve, you want the shuttlecock's highest point to be when it's travelling over the net. As soon as it reaches over the net, you want the shuttle to be going down, making it harder for your opponents to hit it back with a downwards angle. You also want the shuttle to travel the shortest distance. The most important thing is that the serve is consistently good without many mistakes. This means you want to do a movement which is simple and easy to replicate over and over again. Let's look how the professionals do this. I believe Sawi Yik from Malaysia has an excellent serve which is really simple and effective. Firstly, you can see where his feet are positioned. As he is right handed, he has his right foot right next to the line. This will mean his serve will have to travel the shortest distance to reach his opponent's side. This benefits you because your opponent will have less time to react to the short serve. It also makes the serve more consistent if the shuttlecock is travelling a shorter distance. Not only that, but by serving from right at the front, you will be better prepared for a net shot return from your opponent. You can also see that he keeps his left foot with just his toes touching the floor and also a reasonably small width between his two feet. By raising your back foot so that you are on your toes means that you are serving from a slightly higher position which is beneficial when you serve. It also pushes your body forward with your weight on your front foot therefore your centre of mass is closer to the net. He holds the shuttlecock with one finger and his thumb with the shuttlecock pointing at his knees. This angle is really important so that the trajectory of the shuttlecock's path will be right. He holds his left arm out straight where he is holding the shuttle. The angle of the racket is also about 45 degrees in preparation. If you look at his racket, the racket head is perpendicular with the floor, meaning that the racket is flat and facing the net. This is important so that you hit the cork of the shuttlecock directly, rather than if you had your racket head at a different angle, you could end up hitting the feathers. As he serves, he slightly lifts his left arm up, meaning the shuttle is a bit more out in front of him, ready to make contact with the shuttle. By moving the shuttle upwards and forwards also means when you hit the shuttle, you push it rather than completely hitting it from a still position. This makes a big difference because pushing the shuttlecock will allow you to control it much better, therefore improving the consistency and accuracy of the serve. When So Wee Yik pushes his racket to hit the shuttle, you can see here that he performs an extension of his wrist, which changes the face of his racket. This means as he hits the shuttlecock, he makes a direct contact to the cork of the shuttle with the face of the racket strings. As he is pushing the shuttle, because he is extending his wrist, you can see that the racket angle changes to be more flat too. It's no longer 45 degrees. This small step of changing the angle of your wrist and moving your racket and shuttle towards the net when you make contact makes a huge difference to your serve. It will help to ensure you are hitting the shuttlecock directly and also make sure you are pushing the serve rather than just hitting it. Where you hit the shuttlecock on your strings can also make a difference. Here you can see So Wee Yik has the shuttle at the top and near the edge of the racket. The reason he does this is because the shuttle will go slightly faster over the net and you can get more control compared to if you hit it in the middle of your racket. You will also see some top level players slightly slice underneath the shuttle when they make contact too to add spin to it when it goes over the net. Utah Watanabe and Mahabad Hassan have a similar serve to one another and you can see the point I mentioned before are also shown in these players too. You can see that when these players go to make contact to the shuttle, they raise their elbow in the arm that they are holding the shuttlecock. This is again to make the shuttlecock move in their hand before they make contact, therefore allowing them to smoothly push the shuttle over as they serve. You shouldn't have to put much movement in your arm to make the shuttle go over as it's just a push. Here you can see this shown by Keigo Sonoda as well. He starts in a low position and then in his preparation, before making contact, he raises the arm where he holds the shuttle and the racket head follows it. You can see that his right arm holding the racket doesn't actually change much, however the angle of the racket does, therefore raising the racket head to be higher and in line with the shuttle. Some professional players will move their racket head side to side. The reason they do this is to distract their opponent and make them have to wait for your serve. If you served as soon as you were ready every time, your opponents will start to read this and can move quicker after you serve because they know you are going to serve. The serve is such a small movement but it's so hard to consistently perform it well. It's the most important shot in the rally 
therefore something you should practice. Watching professional players serve is a great way of learning since they are the best at it in the world. I hope you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and like the video to see more badminton content. Have a great day.